Singleness is a gift. How many of you have heard that advice before, but really struggled to understand what it meant or even believe it for yourselves? I'm here to kind of share my journey and my experiences with you guys along the way. Hey guys, I'm Nora and I'm so excited to start this journey with you on Salt Soup You channel. You know, being a Christian single, I understand how difficult this season can be sometimes. There can be a lot of pressure, a lot of expectation, and I just want to unpack that. I want to share my journey of the things that I've learned to learn and to love and to embrace as a Christian single. There's struggles in singleness, which I feel like until you're in that season, you don't really understand what it really means, the different expectations, the different pressures that you may feel and the different things that you might feel that you're missing out on as well like not having a companion to share you know those special moments of life with and to celebrate with as well what I want to show you is that singleness actually can be such a gift it can be something that you can thrive in something that you can really grow in you know in the past three years of being single myself I've been able to grow so much from that and that's because I've been able to use the time that I have to not just think about where I want to be in the future but actually being present right now and actually utilizing the things that God has given me and making the most of my singleness and I know that for you guys as well that you'll be able to also do that as well when you see singleness in that perspective so my journey of singleness actually starts three years ago before that I was in a long time relationship for seven and a half years and it was also my first boyfriend so as you can imagine I was completely in love and completely infatuated with that person and even the idea of being in a relationship so finding myself in this season of singleness now in my late 20s it's not been easy and it's definitely been challenging at times you know there was a season of my life where literally I kid you not it seemed like all my single friends were getting married literally one wedding after the other and this was actually not long after I had broken up with my boyfriend so that just made things all the much worse and one thing that I've learned about in my singleness is that when I start to compare my life and when I start to compare the season Season that other people are in compared to the season where God has placed me that's when I start to lose contentment and that's when I start to lose seeing singleness as a gift and start to see it as more of a curse so that's why it's so important not to compare the season that God has placed you in compared to the season that you want to be in or that you may think you want to be in you know they say comparison is the thief of joy and it's so true because when I start to look at where other people are in their lives that's when I start to lose my joy. You know the saying, the grass is greener on the other side actually comes back to the idea of comparison. But I love the saying, grass is greener where you water it. And that's so true when we learn to look at where God has placed us in our singleness and we learn to embrace it, that's when we can actually start to really thrive and see singleness as an actual gift. One place that I love to turn to for inspiration and guidance is always God's word. In 1 Corinthians 7 verse 7, Apostle Paul writes, But I wish everyone were single just as I am. And when we look at Apostle Paul's life, we can see that he was a man who used his singleness so well. His ministry, his disciples that he was able to make, and then also the New Testament books that he was able to write as well. He was able to completely devote himself to God in this season. And that's why he has that desire for us as well, to be completely focused on God in the time that we have as a single person. Now in verse 32 to 34, he also goes on to write, I want you to be free from the concerns of this life. An unmarried man can spend his time doing the Lord's work and thinking how to please him. But a married man has to think about his earthly responsibilities and how to please his wife. His interests are divided. And even though marriage is such a beautiful thing and a thing that a lot of us actually look forward to, it's a reminder that marriage is a season where we have to put our focus on a lot of other things. We may have to focus on our spouse and even kids and even providing for them. But in our singleness, we're able to completely focus on the things that God has called to us as a single individual. And that's the beauty of singleness, that we're able to do these things and have that capacity in this season. So when I look back at my own life in my singleness season, I've been able to see that I've been able to have so much capacity to do so many things in this time. I've been able to grow my own skills in being independent, grow myself in a bit more maturity, and also just being able to sow in the kingdom of God by doing ministry, by being able to work even for my church, to be able to disciple and mentor other young girls as well. 
and you know God can do so much in the season of singleness and when I look back I'm able to see that it was a season that I've grown the most and it's the season that I'm still growing the most and learning the most and that's the beauty and that's the gift of singleness that we can have so if you guys are in a season of singleness right now I hope you're encouraged to remember that there is so many things that you can do with your gift of singleness whether you take up serving in a ministry at church or whether you want to invest in relationships with other people or whether you want to even just develop your own skills and grow as a person I encourage you to make the most of your singleness and try not to compare and think about what other people have but just see the gift that God has given you in this season if you enjoyed my thoughts on singleness as a gift or if you have any other advice that you've been given as a Christian single that you want to share with me just write them down in the comments below and don't forget to also subscribe to Salt's YouTube channel for more content on singleness, dating and relationships.